Hey, buddy. Yeah. Are you ready for Pulley Ridge? Pulley Ridge. Oh, my Pulley goodness. Pulley Ridge. Here we go. So, guys, we are going to go to Bass Pro on a little shopping spree um, because we need to get some tackle for Pulley Ridge. Renzo, you ready for this? I'm really ready for this. We, we just got a new reel, a new yeah. combo. Uh-oh, look at that. Yeah, we just got a new combo. We're getting a spool. Slow put, pitch jigging. Yeah, Here we, we go. The, we put the backing on it. Yeah, we're going to get some break. get some line on this stuff. And Oh, look, it's a golf cart, Dad. Yeah, a golf cart. Imagine that. All right, buddy. Here we go. Fly rod. Um, and should I get a red one? Which one should I get? Dude, I don't know. I'm going to get a red one. I, I don't know if I would wear a hat you that, wear that color. What? You wouldn't? I'm, I'm all about watch your lip. But Lorenzo right, has go. his fetish for Bass Pro Shop hats. So I already got a wet one. Five bucks a piece? Yeah. Let's go. I, I kind of like that hat. RJ Boyle? Oh, I like. I really like this yeah, hat. Yeah, that's a good hat. Well, buddy, we're about to drop some serious money on lead. <laughs> I get a laugh over there. That's good. That's good. Um, <laughs> Seven cents an ounce sounds a lot better than fifty like cents an ounce, ounce, but ten ounce is seventy cents. Yep. Wow. wow. So now it's fifty cents an ounce. Well, that means five bucks a lead. Yeah. Five bucks a lead. It forced you to put a lot heavier leader on down, so you're not. Yeah. In the lead. Yeah. So that's twenty dollars. Like fifteen pound test on that bank. Thirty dollars. <laughs> Which one do you have there? I have a ten. You have a ten? Oh so five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. <laughs> make it forty. Yeah, I'm making make, make it a nice clean forty bucks on lead right there. On lead. We've got some uh six ounce. We've got all the other sizes, so we should be good. We should be good. If we lose that many sinkers on a deep, on a trip, that would be sad. Dude, imagine if we run out of. We're not gonna run out. Don't say that. No, 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 no. Again. Well, I don't think we Another need. 40. I don't think the fish care if they're that shiny. <laughs> what do you think? I don't think so either. No, I don't think so. Seventy-five pound test. We just need some barrel swivels to, to tie our weights on with. So we don't go ahead and lose our weights. We're kind of liking eight bucks. 75 pound test. I like that better. Yeah, that sounds about right. Eight bucks sounds That's good. Okay. All right, now we're gonna be, we are going to be uh, bottom fishing in the Gulf of Mexico, which means what, Lorenzo? You have to have inline circle hooks. Inline circle hooks? Why don't you uh, show us what inline means here? So when it's uh, inline yeah. means so it's the it's the directly point. pointing to the rest of the hook. I don't know how to explain. Yeah. So when you look at the hook, dead it's like on, a circle. It's more like a circle. It's it's straight in line there with you go. There, the that's... with the shaft of the hook. Yes. The offset ones are just kind of point off to the side. They they catch a lot better fish, but they also gut hook stuff more. So now, really. in, I mean, well, yeah, kind of, yeah. Kind of, in like, in Gulf waters, it is now illegal to bottom fish with that, an offset circle hook. Just bottom fish? That's crazy. Actually, it's illegal to bottom fish with a J hook. You have to use circle hook, and it has to be in line. So, I think that's a great. Uh, twenty-one bucks. For yep, twenty-one 50. bucks for fifty of them. That's good. I think that's a good deal, Lorenzo. What do you say? You should get two of them. VMC. You get two of them. Uh, I think we're good. VMC seven O's in line circle hooks. I think we're good to go on hooks. All right, so now, Lorenzo, if we have a 15, 10, 15 foot leader. You need somewhere to store it. You need somewhere to store your leader. So we're hearing that this leader mate thing is a great way to store all your stuff. Wrapping your leader, it, this thing clamps on your rod. You're in the, you're... It clamps on with right there, clamp, and then you wrap your leader around this thing and it's foam, so you can actually stick your hook right in it and there's a place for your lead weight. Oops. There's a place for your lead weight right here. Yeah, but the problem is they only have one and we have two bottom rods. So let's go ahead and put that one in the box. Or the cart. Car, the cart. The cart. The cart. Ricky, our buddy Ricky just gave us 
at a, at a greatly discounted rate a bunch of these jigs, but they don't have hooks on them. Oh, they don't? They don't have hooks on them. Oh. So, um, I'm, I'm holding out as an option to try and get hooks, but here's what they're saying. They're saying we need two hooks on each lure. It would be something like this. So it would be 1150 to put hooks on every single lure. What do you think about that? Oh, that's just dropping some coin. Guys, these, yeah. So they're saying two hooks on the top. So what they're, see how there's two hooks up here? They're putting two hooks on top, two hooks on the bottom. And uh, that would be 1150 a shot to put hooks on. So we're gonna hold off on this for now because um, this slow pitch jigging thing, I can't wait to try it out. But it's uh, supposedly a really good way to get into some tuna and other things like while tuna. down, huh? I like tuna. You like tuna? Somebody might give us some. We're gonna wait for that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Guys, so one of our big tasks is we have to put braided line on our deep jig reel and our two abbots that we're gonna use for bottom fishing. And so I'm here in 50 pound braid and we're gonna try and drop 300 on each. There we go. I'm gonna so buy this. you're gonna buy that? Do you yeah. have money? No, I'm gonna get you at the house. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That's How right. much is that? Well, the price tag, so if it's 300 yards, it's 34, but with the 150 yards, it's probably gonna be like 20. A little bit less? Yeah. All right, so you put, you hang on to that. Because like 40 is So nice. for the, for this reel, did they said what, 40 pound test for these? Is that what they said? Um, yeah. I think it's 40 pound test. So. Blue would look good on that one. Blue? Yeah. You wanna get blue? What do you think? I don't know. You tell me, buddy. Let's see. Well, what about that? But I do know we got some 50 pound, Does 300. It have to be 40 then? 300 yards. What about 50? Uh, I've got I've got the fifty pound right no, here. But for the vertical jig. Huh? For the vertical jig, what about fifty? Uh, I think it's lighter than that. I think it's oh. forty. Oh. So I'm thinking fifty pound for our abbots. And now I just need to find a forty pound deal. Find me forty pound test. Alright, here we go. 150 yards, no, that's not enough. That's not enough? I don't think so. That's 150 yards is nothing. Let's see. That's nothing? 150 yards? All right, so on top of our new braid, we're gonna put some top shot. It says 50 pound top shot, so we got a spool there. That should be plenty. Oops, sorry guys, excuse me. And then, so we got top shot. Okay. 50 pound top shot. That works. Yeah, that works. And they're saying 50 pound mono leader. This is 50 yards. It's only $6? Well, yeah, monofilament's cheap. That's perfect. Fluorocarbon bumps up. So we want 50 pound. That's 50 yards. I thought I saw one that was 150 yards. 50 yards. Oh, that's it. 50 yards. That's it right there, guys. They're saying that you don't need the fluoro out on Pulley Ridge because there's so many fish that they just don't care. No, they're saying because it's like so like not pressured. It's not pressured. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we're going to go with that. That is a 50 yard spool. That should give us that's 150 feet. Should we get two of these? Yeah. yeah it's probably. only $6. Might as well. Yeah. Okay. So, we're good on leader material. We have our top shot. Might as well get three if they're $6. Buddy boy, let's get our stuff spooled up because I think we need to get out of here before we spend any more money. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what you know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, let's get out of here before we spend any more money. Hey, Lorenzo, last time I was on a party boat, uh, in the dry tortugas, there was a Cuban guy fishing with a yo-yo like this. 
<laughs> he outfished everybody on the trip, no man. Way. He was catching tuna left and right on that no thing. Way. I have my brand new Shimano $700 combo, and the dude's outfishing me with a yo-yo. With, with a $9 yo-yo. That's it, man. Oh, South Dakota? Good morning. Getting the habits worked up. Gotta be ready for the race, buddy boy. Here we go. Well, the reason we like braid, apparently. It looks better. Well, it looks better, especially this multicolor stuff that we're getting. But the reason we're doing braid is because it, you feel it better when you're down mm -hmm. 300 feet and there's not as much stretch in the lines. You want to yeah. quick get that fish off the wreck, off the reef as soon as possible. Make sense? Yep. Yep. Before the sharks and barracuda get them. Before the sharks and barracuda get them. Come on. Well, Lorenzo. I almost killed you. Yeah, you almost killed my ankles. Hey, I say we get the heck out of here before we spend more money. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Uh, guys, we are headed to Pulley Ridge on the Yankee Cap with the Gale Force twin, Twins, and we are super pumped. Uh, we are ready. We've got, I think, all the tackle we need. We just need to go buy bait, and we're set. And we've got to get hooks for our jigs. We'll probably do another video just on that. Guys, like, subscribe, and share. Check out our videos coming up. Holy Ridge. Let's do it. Watch that. Huh? You want pink? You want a pink hat. Watch your lip, guys. We got pink reels. Why not? Yeah, Lorenzo's coveting. He's coveting. That's a slight upgrade from Priscilla. What do you think, buddy? Not much? Yeah, well. All right, buddy. Stop sinning. Let's go. Jeez, get out of here. Hi. Where are we at? Bonefish Bone grill. grill. Bonito grill. Bonefish grill. <laughs> <laughs> bonito grill? Bonito. No, no, no. Bonita esposa. Oh, no, no, no. I like bonito, the fish. Oh, the fish? Yeah. Not not bonita esposa. Apparently not. Uh, I think bonita esposa. Pero, <laughs> pero, pero. You guys enjoy your dinner? Yeah. Would y'all have? Blackened taco fish. Blackened mahi tacos. <laughs> I had Chilean sea bass. Chilean sea bass. With um, white rice and green beans. Yeah. Even at a um, fish place, I would have rice. Whenever possible, have rice. That's my Spanish girl right there. <laughs> rice. What would you eat, Sophie? Shrimp scampi. Shrimp scampi. Okay. Oh my God. Good. Very important question, guys. We want to know who's the better artist. We're looking at these look downs. There's painting up here of these look downs. And we guys, we want to know. Who made the better rendition of this look down? Is it Sophia's? Guys, and read, Wait, read, no, watch out. read the sign that's right there. Okay. All right, no, okay. Okay? Or is it Lorenzo's? Or, guys, ignore the amazing Wahoo I drew. Ignore that. <laughs> And, and I know that Wahoo do not typically feed on lookdowns, so be, you can remove your hand. Uh, guys, let, guys, let, let the audience. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, let, vote for the most underrated person. Okay. Most underrated. All right, but guys, you don't, you don't have to look at Sophie. <laughs> you give a beautiful hand, but get it out of the way. You don't have to get it out of. Seriously. <laughs> Okay, this I don't looks know. like the, the mouth of a little pig. Well, that's kind of how they look in, in nature. No, they, don't. they have more of a slanted head than <laughs> from the, the painting up here, guys. Blasphemy. And I know that Wahoo don't typically eat look downs. But, guys, comment down below. Whose look down Hi. rendition is better? Mine. Sophia's. That's mine, all day. Lorenzo. All day. Why'd you cover your tail, buddy? <laughs> because it's, it's, I don't know what that is. And then, and then, here's my guys, comment down below. Who did, who made the better look down out of crayon? And of course, I just couldn't help it. I'm in, I'm all about the Wahoo these days, so.